welcome back again so after you made a list of the quizzes you're gonna use in your website I'm gonna show you a live example how to set up your first quiz make some changes to the website text how to add questions and answers change the colors the background color the quiz featured image and a lot of other stuff in this video I'm gonna use the same quiz example I showed you in the previous video this one right here what is the astrological sign of your soulmate and I'm gonna choose only three of these seven questions the first thing you wanna do is go to your cPanel click file manager public HTML and the file that we're gonna edit is index.html right click on it and click the third option edit click edit once again and this is the HTML code of the website so we're gonna make some basic changes to the, to the website the first thing I see is the title tag this is the title of the website if you hover here over the browser tab this is the website title changes with the quiz title mine says what is the astrological sign of your soulmate? Click Save Changes. Now, if you refresh the page, the new title should appear. And as you can see, it changed successfully. Next, we need to change these meta content tags. The first one is the OG title. OG stands for Open Graph. This is the title the user is going to see when you send them the message on WhatsApp. The UG description is the text they're going to see beneath the UG title. I'm going to just copy the quiz description here. The OG URL, just type your website URL there. It really doesn't matter. Now it's time to make changes to the website interface. I mean by that, the colors and, uh, and what they're going to see when he land on a website. So the first thing we have to change is the main quiz photo. You can use Google Images to search for photos. In my case, I need an astrological sign picture. write the image location and save it to your computer or you can use free reality photos website you can use a website call it pixabay they offer you a large collection of high quality photos a lot of website owners and bloggers use this website to get photos for their blog posts and i use it sometimes for my website too you can type here whatever you want. In my case, I want an astrological sign picture. Let's see what comes up. You can use any of these photos without worry about copyright issues. Now we have the photo in place. We need to add a little bit of text. We're going to add a banner at the top and at the bottom of the photo. I personally use Photoshop to do this, but I know a lot of you won't have Photoshop installed on their computer. So the solution for this is to use an online photo editing tool. 
there are a lot of online editing tools you can use. I've tried many of them, and uh, I found a very cool professional tool for this job. It's called Canva, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you know this tool and probably use it. So this is Canva homepage. This website is very popular among graphic designers and photographers. There are a lot of different design templates you can choose. If you are on Facebook, there is a template for Facebook posts, Instagram, Facebook ads, and a lot of useful stuff, and a lot you discover those by yourself. What matters to us right now is use custom dimensions button on the top here. Click on it and use these photo dimensions in pixels, 500 by 300. Hit design. And this is the template. Now we need to upload our photo. Here on the right at the bottom, click where it says Upload button. Then click Upload your own images. It's uploading here. Click on the photo to load it in the template. Now click on the photo and hold your mouse pointer to drag it. Use the dots here in the corners to resize it. You can use your keyboard arrows for better control. Now it looks perfect. Now it's time to add the banners at the top and at the bottom. Click where it says elements, then lines, Click on this one in the middle. Drag it to the top and resize it a little bit. Click here on this little white square to change the color. I'm going to use black. Black always looks good. Now click on copy to duplicate this banner and drag it to the bottom. It looks good so far. Now we need to add the text. On the left here, click on the text. Click on this add subheading in the middle and click on this colored square to change the text color. Use white. Using white on black makes the text standing out. So the title is, what is the astrological sign? Use these dots to stretch the text a little bit. Use your keyboard arrows to position it in the middle. Looks good. Click here if you want to change the font or the size of the text. Also the words spacing. This font looks fine. The same thing with the other banner. Text. Add subheading. White color of your soulmate. Use the keyboard arrows to move it. And that's it. The photo is ready. Now I'm done with the photo. I need to download it. Click on the download button on the top. Choose JPEG and hit download.
So this is our final photo. Now we have to upload it to our server. Go back to your cPanel, File Manager, Public HTML, click Upload, select your photo or just drag and drop it here. Click Reload. Now delete the old photo, this one. And rename the new photo and call it top.jpg. It's important to rename it that way. Now let's refresh the page and see the changes. So as you can see, the photo is changed and fits perfectly. Now let's change the background color. I mean this color right here, not this blue. Don't worry about this area because it won't be visible on mobile devices. Go back to index.html editor. Click on the search button here on the top and search for the word background. Now click seven times on this little arrow and it will take you right to this background color content inner. And what you need to do now is replace this number here with another one. If you're not familiar with HTML, each color has its own set of numbers. And to know your color number, there is a tool called Color Picker. Go to Google and type Color Picker. This is it. Choose the color you want. You can also drag this bar right here to switch the colors. For an example, I'm going to choose this gray color. Copy these numbers on the left, go back to your editor and replace the numbers and click save. Refresh the page and the color is changed. This is the quiz description, it tells you what the quiz is about. Go back to play buzz and copy the description. We need to find this phrase and replace it. To do this, just search for it in the search box. So we have found out what... Just type the first three words and it should take you straight to the phrase. And here it is. Select it. And paste. Save changes. Refresh the page. Perfect. Our website is almost ready. Now the final thing we have to do, obviously, is to add questions and answers to the quiz. As I mentioned before, I'm going to choose only three questions and answers. Click Let's Play, and this is the first question. What word would best describe you? And choose whatever you want. Passionate, honest, ambitious, brave. Copy the question. And go back to the editor. And do the same thing. Search for the words in the search box. Which word is you? And here it is. 
paste it Keep in mind that each question has three answers. If you scroll just a little bit, you will find the answers for every question. These are the answers for the first questions, three answers. Next, you find the answers for, this, for the second question. You can differentiate them by this dev tag. It says answer one, answer one, answer one. This one answer two, answer two. Let's edit the answers for the first question. What word would describe you? So the first answer is passionate. This is the first answer. The second answer is honest. The third answer is ambitious. Click Save Changes and refresh the page. And here we go. The question and the answers are changed successfully. You can add multiple answers to the question. All you have to do is copy the dev tag. Make sure to copy it correctly from the dev class to the closed dev tag. Let's add a new answer. Brave. and save changes. And as you can see, a new answer comes up. You can also change the color background of the survey box. This blue color right here behind the buttons. Do as I showed you before, search for the background. And this time, click eight times. It should take you to this line where it says Survey Author. And change these numbers. Let's pick a color and see how it would look like. Save changes. Perfect. The color has been changed. Finally, and I think this is the last thing we have to, to edit in this video, is the WhatsApp message that we're going to send to the users. In other words, the promotional checks and the website URL the user will see in the group. It's like a call to action, telling the user to click on your link and take the quiz. Go back to the editor and search for this keyword. Send and a question mark. It will take you straight to this text here. Now, this is the text the user will see when you send them the message on WhatsApp. Find out what is your true zodiac should be and some emojis. Make sure to include emojis because they make the promotional checks look good and they grab the attention of the users. So I'm going to go ahead and change this text. So 